If you're just beginning to play Farmville, there's a few things on this main screen that really aren't explained very well when you start playing. So I'm just going to go over this a bit uh, so you, you know what's going on. There are some prompts that instantly take you to harvesting um, some things here. I believe some eggplant and some strawberries, uh, you know, and like a, a little mini tutorial, and it shows you you know where to find some of these tools here. The first thing I'd like to talk about is uh, the different levels and uh, coin and money and how all of that works with this game. Uh, if you start right away up in this upper right, upper sorry, upper left hand corner, uh, these are your coins. Okay, just to the right of that, there's this FV with dollars. This is Farmville Cash which is not the same as coin. Uh, this part right here, this tells you your experience levels and basically uh, you, you know, it varies depending on what activities you do as how your experience jumps up and at the rate it'll jump up. Uh, this will show us this is whose farm we're at right now. We're at Justice Farm. On the left corner here, uh, this little eye thing kind of changes the pixelation. Uh, so, you know, depending on your browser and, and how well it works and the, the clarity that you want. Uh, these two buttons here control the farm animals. When you have animals on your farm, they start making all kinds of noises. And this controls the music to the game. So at any time, you can toggle these um, off if you don't want to hear the extra added audio in the background uh, after after you've been playing for a while it can it can get a little crazy <laughs> listening to it over and over again okay um, down we're gonna skip down to this right hand corner next here and what you're gonna notice is some um, tools in the bottom right corner this first tool right here at the very top is like a little magnifying glass with a plus in it. Uh, we are zoomed in at full capacity right now. If I do the other one, you know, if you were playing this game, see this, this kind of, I think might throw some people off at first that there is only, you know, it looks like you only have this little plot of land here to work with. If you hit this little minus on the magnifier, we're going to back up and you're going to see the entire plot of land that you have to start with. And this is basically what you get. They have plowed a few plots. They have some crops that are ready for you. Here's some strawberries that aren't quite quite ready to harvest yet. Uh, so that does that. And then if you would like to, instead of looking in this little tiny thing here on Facebook, if you would like to fill out your whole screen, that would be this next little button here. And when we hit that, you see it goes to full screen. I'm going to zoom back in to my little farmer. Okay. Anytime that you would like to change your farmer's appearance, you can see if I just hover over her, she lights up. You just can click on yourself. Okay. And then you can choose which gender you'd like your farmer to be. Click on the next button. And we can change the appearance of our farmer. So we can make her a little tan, and we can change her face shapes here. I think this is what she is now. I can't tell. There we go. We'll make her a little thinner. Let's give her some different hair, some long red hair. Uh, and as you can see, you can just go through these and, and change however you want your your person to look. Uh, when you're done, click this little save here at the bottom and that'll give you your new farmer. Now, what's happening here is, you know, when I first launched this, I had the two crops that wanted to be harvested immediately, so I harvested those and it gave me a little bit of coin. This beginning number of Farmville cash is what they give you for starting the game. You get five, five farm, Farmville dollars here right off the bat to start with. This is something you want to be very careful with because you cannot get this money back. 
um, coin, you can grow crops, you can make coin all the time. Uh, coin, you'll spend mostly coin to buy your seeds, to buy, you know, different things for your farm. Uh, you can even use coin to expand your farm if you have enough neighbors, and we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, but these Farmville dollars, in order to get those, you have to do something called level up. And so if we look over here at this, at 10 experience, you will reach level two. So when I reach, this is, this is two, but it's not, is when this number here is 10, this little one will change to a two when I hit the um, 10 experience points. So these are points, and these are your actual levels. I'm at a level one and I only have two points right now. You can get points uh, for doing various things. Uh, at any time you plow some land, you get a point. Uh, you get points for planting certain kinds of crops. And the highest level that goes right now currently in this little star is a level 70. So basically, they give you $5 to start, you can go up to level 70, meaning you can make another uh, $69. So you can wind up with 74 farm cash. And whenever I say farm cash, that refers to this one here with the cash. Uh, there are a lot of great things, fun things to buy in this game. And in order to get them, you need farm cash for the, for the bulk of them. Uh, there are specialty items, there's limited edition things. Anyway, once your farm cash is gone, it really is gone, and the only way to get more farm cash is to pull out your Visa or MasterCard and purchase uh, some farm cash credits through Farmville. Uh, luckily, it's not dollar per dollar. Uh, I think $5 gives you about 20 farm cash. Uh, so you can, you know, do the math and figure it out, um, you know, but some of the uh, special gifts that you, you know, you might like or think are cool can actually run 40, 50, 60 farm cash dollars. And, you know, and there's nothing wrong with if you've got the extra money going in to support the game and, and tossing some money in there. I've done it myself. Uh, but just keep that in mind, you know, if you are on a budget or you just really want to you know, play play the game for the sake of playing the game, that when you spend this and it's gone, it's gone. The only way to get more is to level up, and you can only level up to 70 levels.